So you'll see here that I'm working towards uh, making um, <clears throat> making a, a canvas which I'm going to be putting up on my walls, but um, I'm actually going to do what is known as a feature wall, and I'm in the process of kind of putting up the, the structure for it. So I thought I'd do a little bit of painting. So you'll see in the past pictures that uh, that uh, in my other posts that you'll see basically it coming together. Um, I started with just a black, um, a white canvas. I just put a whole bunch of this meso stuff. Um, and you'll see uh, meso is just like a white paint almost just to kind of give it a little bit of texture. And then I've kind of basically, I sketched out what I wanted sketched out and you'll see kind of using um a triangle short shape sketched out the the detail of the uh, eiffel tower and then i put uh, blue for the background um, ideally you want to put um you you want to definitely put the background first um, because what ends up happening is you do like uh, like you'll see here i had to go along again and kind of going around the structure which is somewhat difficult I mean it's not a big deal you can always kind of you know kind of go around the structure again and then if you go over a little bit just put a little bit of black I use black to highlight the structure and what I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, doing some trees so uh, you mix together some black uh, sorry some green and um, some a little bit of white and a little bit of brown kind of gives this you know kind of tree color and then so ideally you don't want to put like a huge uh a huge tree but you want a decent size so it's kind of like as you see it kind of like the bigger the tree the more out out of sorts it'll look but um start off with a small tree which i've done kind of started and then basically what you want to do is kind of go around and give a little bit of texture right you don't want a big circle that's definitely not what you want because if you do just a circle, that's what it'll look like. It won't look like a tree. So the trick, the trick with trees is basically, you know, you want it to be somewhat sym symmetrical, but not to the point where, you know, it's totally like, totally like a big circle. So as you see, I kind of, there's two ways to do it. You can kind of do a swirl. I call it a swirl kind of thing where you kind of go like this. And then there's also the, a little bit more pain here the kind of padding kind of like you would do with uh, a sponge but you can do that with your paintbrush and it gives you gives it quite good texture and then my next step I'll kind of put a little bit of a you know a brown tree down here and then I'll do the same for this one so like I said basically you want to swirl it and it's okay if it's not quite dry if you keep going and a little bit of space actually is better the more the more gaps you have, the more realistic it looks. So, like I said, basically you want to do kind of a circular motion to start and then you just kind of build on it from there. So, I'll kind of update you with other videos on seeing how it's going. So, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, it's getting pretty close to being done. I'm just waiting for this area here to dry a little bit and then I'll be able to you know, darken up those lines a little bit, and then I'll paint the whole thing uh, like a very light brownish gray, which I noticed from the picture. So this is just a picture I took online. Very, very simple. Um, just take the picture and kind of like sketch it together and go from there. Talk to you later.